Hi guys, it's Danny and we're back on our YouTube video and today we're greeted with the loud noise outside my window so let me close that for you guys and today we have another Cornerstone tour. It's the Cornerstone tour of XX Boko XX and today he has the companion cube thing to, um, uh, Cornerstone so let's get started with this. I can tell you greeted with a nice colorful entrance, a rainbow themed I can tell you guys. He's quite the naturalist. And as you see here, there's a bunch of these. I don't really know what they're called. They look pretty fancy and garden, garden-y. I can tell you guys, there's two roses inside the glass box there. And if we go on the right here, we got his two little duck slash chickens. He's got a, a ghost one, which I've never seen before out of the cornerstones I've done, which is pretty cool. And then we got a regular chicken or a duck, whatever the hell you call it, another I think brown one and then we go on the, on the left here we got a skeleton bear a bear and a robot bear the one that I have at my cornerstone too as well so from the back I don't really know what that is it looks like a Mario tube I think he's going for the Mario theme in this this one because the fuel kind of feels like a Mario theme with the tube down here <clears throat> and then he's got all of his essential Portals here. I liked how he grouped them up until like uh, until like super close together. So when you like, it's pretty much like a rainbow runway, like the Mario map, the rainbow map. I I think he's going for that type of Mario feel to this thing because you know Mario's is pretty pretty like fun and rainbow colored and bright and everything like that. So yeah, this is pretty much his um first floor. I guess you could tell. And let's go down to the Mario tube here and let's see what's down here. So hopefully, oh my god, did I miss a floor? Yes, I did miss a floor. So I'm guessing this is a tree, like a Christmas tree, or he's going to put some presents around it or anything. But this is, I guess, the trophy room. He has a lot of the same trophies, which shows me that this guy's a grinder, guys. He's a hundred. He's 163 masters right now. So this pretty much explains why he has the, most of the same... Um, Trophies. So I'm gonna let me close my MacBook because it's like ramping up right now. I don't know why. It's like overheating or something like that. So yeah, this is. I kind of like this thing. Kind of like this um room. I wish I'd done a full basement trophy room for mine, but you know whatever. It's cool. And then we got. Whoa, my God, Jesus Christ! I'm almost blinded by this, but yeah, that actually really hurts to look at. And you got some more trophies down here. And he's gonna plan to fill this room up. Oh my god, dude, looking at that just hurts my eyes, man. Sorry, dude. It's just really blinding. But I guess these two are trophy rooms for him. And let's head back up. Luckily, I have 12 jumps, so this is no problemo. And let's go into the top. He has this um, sky thing here, which we can go up easy peasy. Oh, I missed the companion cube. And this is his um, third floor, I guess, since that, the basement was one, the first, the middle was two, and this is the third floor. I guess it's sorry there. I just fucking yawned for some reason. This is the um, balcony, I guess. See through, really nice. You can see across the whole trove world. All right, let's go up to the companion cube. This when I saw this, I was pretty surprised that he can build a companion cube. And oh, there's one more floor up there. So I guess this is another trophy room. This is where all the fishes are. I, I'm guessing, yes, all the fishes, wow, gold, mint, I don't even know where the hell he got that from, but that's pretty cool, he's got a gold trophy and a, what is that, gold lava, 97 pounds, dude, dude this guy's balling, but yeah, he's got some blue torches over here to light up the room a little bit, I guess he's going for the spiritual type of room, you know, to like praise the fish gods, or something like that, but overall I really like it, and I don't think he's finished right. I don't, I don't think he's finished with the thing, or actually, maybe it's the other person that's not finished, but I really like the companion cube, in my opinion, because, you know, everything just leads up, it like flows so good, but if he made like something that's going down, from like, if he made the sky blocks from going all the way down to the, the last basement and going straight up, that would be pretty amazing, I have to say, but you know, that's just my suggestion. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Shout out to X Boko Boko FX for letting me use his cornerstone tour to be featured in. And if you guys want to be featured in just like him, I'll just just add me and I'll pick pick whatever person I want to pick. But eventually, you guys will all get picked and you guys will all get chosen. So thank you guys for watching once again. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. Oh. Yeah, I mean, this would probably just be a gameplay series about my track light or anything like that. Yeah. Part 1 of the track light series, I guess it's called. Because I'm on PTS right now.